Hi everyone, welcome to Sapoya. Today I'm going to talk about a question that many people may be interested to know. How to find a good clothing manufacturer in China? There are thousands of clothing and textile manufacturers in China, and not all of them are equal. Making a random supplier selection by just using online search without verifying that the supplier can reach your quality requirements is likely to end up in a lot of troubles. So how to avoid this? Now first, I will introduce what are the main factors that you need to consider when selecting clothing manufacturers in China. Here, we listed five of the most important factors, including product scope, the minimum order quantity requirement, test reports, fabric quality, and BSCI and CDEX audit reports. So the first factor you need to consider is the product scope. When you look for suppliers, you need to remember all clothing suppliers are specialized in certain product categories and sometimes even materials. What does this mean to you when you look for suppliers? It simply means that you need to work with a supplier that is specialized in your category. For example, if you plan to import jeans, you need to only look specifically for suppliers manufacture jeans, and you don't go to suppliers making socks or t-shirts. The second factor to consider here is minimum order quantity, the MOQ requirement. All suppliers have an MOQ requirement. In the textile industry, there are four different MOQs to keep track of. The MOQ per order, usually it's around 500 to 1,000 pieces. The MOQ per fabric, usually it's around 250 to 500 pieces. The MOQ per color, similar to the fabric, is also around 250 to 500 pieces. The MOQ per size, Usually, it's around 100 to 250 pieces. So one thing to notice here is that the MOQ usually reflects the minimum amount of fabric the supplier must purchase from their subcontractors. Therefore, one potential way for you to reduce the overall MOQ is to use the same fabrics and colors on more than one product. On the other hand, custom colored fabric tends to have a higher MOQ compared to the supplier's standard fabric colors. The third factor you should consider is whether the supplier can provide you necessary test reports. Clothing textiles are regulated in most countries, so always pay attention to the substance control and ensure compliance with the textile regulations in your country, such as REACH if you are in Europe, or California Proposition 65 if you were in the United States. A lot of Chinese clothing manufacturers, especially the smaller ones, are not aware of the substance contained in their textiles. The main reason is that almost all clothing manufacturers purchase fabrics and components from subcontractors. The number of material subcontractors can range from two or three to the hundreds. It's really hard to keep track of everything and in the meantime, ensuring that non-compliant materials don't slip through requires the supplier to test a large number of samples, which most small factories consider too expensive and time-consuming. Therefore, for importers based in Europe, America, Canada, and Australia, it's critical to select a supplier that can demonstrate a compliance track record in terms of test reports issued by an accredited third party such as SGS or Intertech. The fourth factor to consider is fabric quality. You need to get your fabric specifications in order before you start to look for a manufacturer. Most of the Chinese clothing and textile manufacturers are simply not focused on overseas markets. So don't assume that they are specialized in making items matching your quality requirements. Always let them know your fabric specifications first. The last point to consider 
is to check whether a supplier already has BSCI and CDEX audit reports. As we all know, BSCI and CDEX are membership organizations for manufacturers, performing regular social compliance audits in factories throughout the world. Closing factories that already are BSCI or CDEX audited tend to be better managers than those that lack such audit reports. There are various reasons for this, but BSCI and CDEX audit reports are among the primary selection criteria we use when sourcing textile factories in China, Vietnam, India, and other countries. Okay, so now, after you have a clear picture of what you need to consider before making a selection, you can start your search. Then what are the common ways to find China clothing manufacturers? There are a lot of different options here. You can use search engines such as Google or Baidu. You can search online directories and B2B marketplaces such as Alibaba, Global Sources, Made in China. You can also try to go to some trade fairs such as Canton Fair or industry meetups or visit some local clothes wholesale markets. Of course, if you know someone that can give you reference, that also works. Lastly, finding a sourcing agent may be the most straightforward way. So how a sourcing agent can help you? If you don't have sufficient information on clothing supply, you can get in contact with local Chinese partners of sourcing companies to help you find the most professional clothing manufacturers. Sourcing companies are very professional and can identify the best manufacturer that you need. The sourcing companies can save you so many resources that you would rather use in your business. I'm going to use how a sourcing agent can help to solve one of the most important issues that many business people may have during their importing process here as an example. That is how a sourcing agent can help you to lower your MOP. For an experienced sourcing agent company, there are many ways to get better MOP from Chinese market suppliers. In fact, these ways are easy to use and can be accepted by most of the clients. The first one is to find the best suppliers for purchasing with small MOP. This is the easiest way. This requires the agent's company to keep sourcing to find the best solutions to buy in China. Simply speaking, how to get a better MOQ? Just keep sourcing, bargaining, and negotiating. The agency company will persuade the supplier accept smaller quantities. Normally, the agency company need to analyze suppliers' competitors, business rules. Sometimes they need to talk with their boss directly or need to visit their office or factory to communicate face to face. Normally, compare and negotiate with enough suppliers and they can find the best one. The second way is buy various items in one supplier to get the MOQ in purchasing amount. This way is popular when buying in China clothing wholesale markets, and many wholesale suppliers accept it. MOQ usually calculate in quantities. However, another thing supplier cares about is the total amount. If your MOQ is low, but you can buy more designs from the same supplier, which makes the total amount looks good, then the sourcing agent can negotiate with the suppliers for smaller MOQ. The third way is calculate the MOQ elements with the supplier to get the best terms. For experienced Chinese agents company, they know how to calculate the MOQ elements with the suppliers and be reasonable to negotiate with the suppliers. For example, for production of a customized OEM t-shirt design, you can consider from the fabric material and quantities, then move ahead to printing, embroidery, and trims, as well as the labor cost, etc. Maybe the supplier will accept it. However, such negotiation requires the agent have perfect communication skills. The last way is to show the supplier that you want to develop long-term business relationship with the supplier and keep the orders running. This is in fact for a good business relationship, that developing from small buyer to big wholesaler or from a test order to be a bulk order. There are many fashion brand companies will choose such a cooperation method. 
which means when you discuss your business with your supplier, let them know you have two potential orders. One is for an existing product with good quantities for this or next season, while another order is a sample order for the next launching product. Experienced agency company will help you to communicate with the supplier about the future business and negotiate for better MOQ. Sometimes, the sourcing agent will suggest you to agree with currently better terms, then tell the factory if next season you can buy more, they should give better conditions. Actually, this is a very effective way to buy from China for import-export business. All right, that's all for today. Hope this video can be helpful. If you are interested in getting more details, please visit our website, supplier.com, and check our blog session. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or contact us.